Hey guys, Mike here with another developer diary. This time I'm just going to be giving you a sneak peek at the features that will be coming in the update that's due out this weekend. And it will come. It was supposed to come last weekend, but we decided to add more features to it. So basically I'm just going to hop straight into it. Um, yeah, as, as you've seen, we've actually bumped it up to 0 0.2, not 0 0.02, because we're jam-packing this thing full of features now and uh, doing a lot of work on it. But anyway, uh, once you, if once you start up, once you download the patch, uh, you'll get a screen like this that basically tells you, you know, we recommend that you reset your character, maybe even start a new one. Otherwise, you can to play with this. You can transfer your character's changes into the new mod, which I will do now. All right, then a bit of a change look here. Uh, also, the aging system has been improved. Uh, and birthday perks and birth sign perks, I believe, have been added. You just have to choose your birthday first, and you will be able to choose the year eventually. Then you get a little bit of a you get a birth certificate. You can uh, it's here. It will of course have all the details of um, your date of birth, your place of birth, and whatnot. That's there. That's still a bit of a novelty item that you get. And then um, the new thing, ah, get out of this, uh, the project legacy menu. Yes, as you can see, there's the old version number, but you've got an aging menu, uh, which for now you will just be able to turn it on and off, real-time aging, but quest progression aging with real-time aging will be coming soon, and that basically means that not only uh, will you age with like uh, in-game time but events and quests and things like that will affect your age as well so going to prison may take five years of your life away and doing longer quests may take a few years away and things like that so you do age quicker it won't take you 20 hours to age one year um, then you've got uh, the beard menu. You get it to turn your beard on and off. Uh, re remove your beard. And you've got here real time beard growth, speech craft beard growth, and level based beard growth. Those are conceptual uh, modes here. Yeah, they're not confirmed. This is just something we're testing. And then the scarring menu, of course, which you've got right now, which is the default dynamic real-time scarring uh, then we haven't announced this yet but it is coming death replacement scarring now we got this idea from a user who sent uh, us a message via the Nexus uh, don't have his name um, at, uh, ready here right now but I'll look it up and post his uh, details below but yeah, basically death replacement scarring means instead of dying, you'll just get knocked out and wake up uh, in a random NPC's home with a scar. Now this NPC will have found you on their journeys across Skyrim and will have taken you home and are nurturing for you until you get back on your feet. That's uh, death replacement scarring. And then you've got dynamic age scarring, which is what you saw in the first uh, developer diary, okay? Now that I've showed you that, it's time to get into the next thing. We'll pay whatever it takes. Um, we just, must have more swords for the Imperial uh, soldiers. Our newest member of Ungodlike Productions is Veltos, and he's now the lead level designer. And the first thing he's uh, done for us is the barber shop, as promised. Uh, he's done fantastic work on this. So let's uh, just hop in there and uh, just show you it straight away. Of course, there are a few glitches that we still need to work out and whatnot, especially the AI. But I do not see a face fig. Uh, do not waste my time. Yes, okay. As you can see, I don't have facial hair, so he's, he's commented on that. He's like, why, why am I here? He, I should be sh he should be shaving me, not like... No! Yeah, I'm just here to loiter right now. But uh, this place is designed up beautiful. Here's the barber chair. And you'll of course sit in that and he'll come on over to you and give you a shave. Uh, but it's not active for the moment because I'm still working on the script. 
He's got his office here. He's got his front desk right here. You know? So it's all come a really nicely put together place. I've got to say, Veltos is doing a fantastic job. Uh, okay, I'm going to show you some more here. If I pop out, uh, he notices and comments on your facial hair. <laughs> so let's grow some facial hair. Okay. Now I, I have a little bit of a beard happening. You come for a face cut. Please, Dragonbone, sit down. Okay. And uh, we can do the last thing here now. Grow a little more of a. Let our beard grow a little bit more. Do, 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 do. I have, for debugging purposes, I have it displaying a message every time your beard grows because I was doing some testing before. I should have removed that. Oops. Um. Um. Sorry about that. You guys are seeing like a <laughs> an alpha and of a, uh, an alpha of an alpha update here, so. You know, you're gonna expect a few bugs. Something that we'll do our best to work out before it releases. It is you, Dragonborn. In my life, have I never seen a beard so wild. Come, let me cut your face. Okay. As you can see, I've got a full beard now, and he's like, Whoa! Dude, you need to shave. I've got a wild beard, he says. Hello. By the beard of Talos, look at you, so fabulous. That's the new barber, by the way. By the beard of Talos, you come to me, a yeah. father, shave of the face, a place, sit down. Yeah, we're still working on this, but... This is the new barber, this is the new mod. We'll try to get as much done as possible. Um, that's it for today. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. Um, and take it easy. Bye-bye.